Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Tearing Saga, we're in the middle of a swamp right now, but I think we'll be out of here relatively soon. Hello Ursa, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing alright. Doing alright. Yes. Okay, I think we're basically just, we're on the run to save Katri, that's the whole thing, right? Nothing else is really Yeah, going on. yeah, yep. Um, and this is a horrible, horrible swamp map straight out of Gaiden where everybody's movement would suck sucks and you're you're going to take damage walking through all this stuff. Oh, but fortunately God. fortunately we have a warp staff and a dancer. And it's a seas map. Hey. It's you gotta wonder what he's thinking. You gotta wonder yeah. what Kaga's thinking. I know it's impossible to surmise, but goddamn. Alright, such a hideous swamp, isn't it? It was a beautiful lake in its former days and its water flowed pure from the shrine. But ever since those fiends of Gurksel invaded the shrine, it's become a den for monsters. But this is the best path to the temple, so we've got to take it, right? So we'll just have to grit our teeth and endure the stench. Be on your guard, Lord Holmes. These swamps are filled not only with fell creatures, but also the servants of Gurksel. Be caref particularly careful of witches. If they're warping magic, they can ambush you when you least expect it. Yeah, well, we'll even reverse on them. Because I... Sheriff probably does relatively well to kill this guy with all her skills and everything. If not, we can warp someone else in front of him. Like yeah, Sheriff. you've got you, you've got this, or it's two warps rather with your dance or oh well, maybe not accepts, actually. Like crap except move. we don't. <laughs> so Sheriff better activate some skills. All right, this looks like a jolly good spot. No, never mind, it's not a jolly good spot. Oh, I guess we only have one spot we can attack this guy from then. Yep. Well. Here goes nothing. Let's go, Shara. The alternative is probably waiting a couple turns until our dancers are next to each or our warper and we'll go from there, I guess. Uh yeah. is this double this guy? Yeah, minus two, yes. No, we need to use I think Silphit is like the only way. 31. Oh, he seems to die. I think. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. He's got crit, but that's but he doesn't counter. Could, it. Once again, you could negate by giving Holmes this thing, but it's fine. Oh yeah. Too well, late. he doesn't it's counter fine. me unless I miss. So yeah, that's true. Your life thread is running short. I will put an end to your agony. This is like the the third time we see this portrait, I think. Oh. Adapt anyway. Yeah. You know, just why not? Just blow on him gently. Maybe do it again. Do it again. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're as thinking, processing information. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I actually don't know if Holmes is near uh, our warper, come to think of it. Yeah, Holmes is Holmes is close enough. Okay. Oh, holy Gurksel. Into your hands, I... Wait, so is he saying Gurksel is like in... Okay, nice level up. He's like in, in, in heaven or whatever and he's going there, but then Gurksel's going to be revived, so he's going to be alone there. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, they're close. Just move, just move, just move Shigen out the way, yeah. Yeah, you see. I'm just trying to see, like, just how bad... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sakurai can't even move. I got... Uh, okay. I usually try to ignore... No, not ignore, but like, I usually try to be like, well... He doesn't just throw stuff to the wall, see what sticks. He, he makes good, he has ideas, but I don't know what the hell the idea was here. Get out of here. Make you use flying units. Yeah, I guess. Oh, this better be the spot, by the way. <laughs> here you go. I mean, that was where the boss was, so yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's a Kaga troll. It actually wasn't another spot. Ooh, come over here. And capture. Good map. Enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. We'll play again. <laughs> Is there, like, anything on that map at all besides just fighting enemies? No, right? I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. I've only ever skipped it, so, like, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's nothing going on in there, and I've only ever seen people skip it, so... Hidden items in the bottom right corner of the map or something. <laughs> like, oh, if you go to this tile, you'll get a secret unit with uh, maximum stats. Finally, we made it to the shrine. I warned you about the cult regulars. Like I said, there are no pushovers. Those witches are the worst of them all. It's practical suicide tactics. Aren't they afraid of death? Of course they aren't. They've been groomed for their purpose for years by the high priests. Zoan parents volunteer their young girls, who are indoctrinated and trained in sorcery to create efficient magical assassins. 
You cannot think of these cultists like soldiers doing your, their duty homes. Aside from the clergy, most of all the cult's members are like these girls. Slaves, slaves to the will of the pontiff. Shigen, you're freaking me out. I understand what you're saying, but I won't let sympathy for my enemies stand in the way of what I came here to do. Reavens, the Zoans, the cults, none of that matters now. Anyone who dares to stand in the way of me finding Catra is going to die, and that's all there is to it. You got that, Shigen? Hey, I'm not trying to dissuade you. I completely agree. These guys need to be stopped. And why are you distracting me? Just do your job, Shigen. Lord Holmes, that's enough. Let us make haste into the shrine. We would not want to wait around for Gwen Chaos to be alerted to our presence. Yeah, if you keep shouting that loud, he probably will be. Then again, he is all-knowing. Birthright of Salia. Fire Shrine. Okay, so we're inside. This is the shrine. Okay, oh, very. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. It's an FE4 block of enemies. <laughs> Uh, Fortunately, it's another seas map. Yeah, oh, nice. Okay, we come from here then, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Um, what is this place? Some people vibing. And. Baal. Oh, hey, welcome back. Uh, he doesn't die in one hit, so I guess we'll need two warps in advance. That's off OP. Mahan cannot be counted range 1 to 3. Earthquake is what I mean. usable every 5 turns. Alright, that seems familiar. That seems familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. Is it the Tal then? This is what I see. Yep. Pretty sure that's the cease point, yeah. Oh, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Not very cool. Well. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah, I think you can see why most people probably recommend. Brene here? Yeah. I can definitely see why. Well, let's, let's see what happens, I guess. He'll probably have something to say, too. I like how you're deploying Samson, because you just can't, you don't want to even rearrange the deployment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what else do I deploy? Like, freaking... What's yeah, the next I best? Uh, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he's still better than... I don't know. Lady Claris, is the Sword of Cardolon really, really here in the shrine? A piece of it, yes. It is called... A Agnes Yastra. Agnes Yastra. Agnes Yastra? I don't know. I don't know either. We, I don't know. I usually skip this part. <laughs> the clerics of the Fire Shrine have protected the Shard of the Sacred Blade for generations. You will need its strength if you hope to defeat Gwen Chaos's dark magic. I came here a few years ago looking for the sword, actually, but all we found was a rusty piece of metal stuck in a pedestal. Hmm. <laughs> we couldn't even get it to budge. That is indeed the Sacred Blade. While you may not have been able to draw it before, I'm sure you'll be able to today. Why even bother, though? If I started swinging that old hunk of rust around, I'd be more likely to hurt myself than someone else. Don't be so sure of that. It is far more than it, than as it appears. But let's not tear you here, lest we be surrounded by the cult's monsters. Okay, this time I have normal movement, right? Yeah, it looks pretty normal to me. Yeah, this doesn't look like a particularly exciting map to play either. It's, just, yeah. it's not that long to play normally, probably, but I'm assuming this guy's gonna make it longer with the one-way mm -hmm. corridors and then... I don't know what's going to happen up there. Let's see. Maybe in Sorcerer her first. I don't know if that'll help or do she one run KO by default. Oh, she got the last one, so I was just assuming, but actually she doesn't it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter cuz she needs to get to as as off. Um so she has like 9 res. Uh do I even have melt deployed? Yes, pretty okay, sure you do. Good. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll try. Okay, so Samson will make an important move. Here, staff, sorcerer, Sierra. Oh, look, everyone's already in their, in their current positions, basically. Uh, staff. Oh, wait, you don't need to go, go here. Warp. Yep. And then attack. Uh, slip, slip hit. Oh, it just double. Oh no. You might have a problem. I thought you would double. Well, there aren't any enemies in range besides the boss, so I mean, you can just warp homes and like have him like combo in or something. Yeah, I guess like. so. But you probably would. I don't know. 
You could also warp two people, I guess, but he's. But you, you need probably would not to check for someone who can actually one round. Yeah. I think if I hit him You're now and he like gets countered on any phase, he might get the low HP, and then we can warp him home and seize. Oh, or that book could work too, like some kind of proc skill. Oh, all right, okay, that's good. Uh, so this is a round of combat, right? On the feet. What if I brave bow him now with Wolms? That work, right? We'll see, I guess. Uh, I have a brave bow only still, right? Yeah, I do. Brave bow's twenty-four. Attack. He's got eleven and eleven. I think that works out. I won't be able to see him immediately, think, but I don't fine. think you'll kill with Holmes is the thing. Even if you do uh, brave bow him down, like he's gonna, he'll just he comes back with full HP, doesn't he? Or oh. Hmm. Well, and then after that, he'll be gone, though, right? So, at the very least, oh. Well, Wait at the top is the best. All right, whatever. We have a dance. It's fine. I'll just seize next turn. That was the plan anyway. I thought you were about to dance, Mel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have been. T rest moment. Oh, this is. Oh, he looks pretty cool this round. I just noticed. Yeah, that. he does. Okay, warp the right person this time. Uh, warp. Right. I wonder if he counters if I do this. Let's find out, I guess. I'm also making the bold assumption that Holmes is not getting one killed by him. Alright. Come on over here. Yeah, sure, just do this, do this, do this. 24, 13, and he revives, he's 36 to me. I'm assuming he doesn't get to counter if I do this, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll find <laughs> out, yeah. Did I save here? I don't remember if you did or not, so... That's a good question. It's not like the last map was super long. Okay, there we go. Hey, welcome back. How's it going? Nope, combat just ends. Good. Good. Excellent. Okay, well, there's nothing else I can do, really. I uh, guess I'll have to see an enemy phase here. Maybe there's some cool music? I don't know. That is a little different. Alright, don't eat my party, please. It feels like those squares are gonna have like reinforcements from them. Probably. They look like. Oh, okay, what are you doing? Uh, it has some crit. Oh. You okay? You okay, Sierra? That Ensorcel will probably save her life, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Oh, rip. Well, I can do that too. Okay, well... I guess we can warp Plum over the seas if we really want to. Uh, so now I guess we Sylphid. Because again, he doesn't counter that. And then we just kill with Holmes again. I can either greedily save a warp, <laughs> keep my party safe for a turn. Oh, never mind. You saved a warp anyway. She crit. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Good. Never punish. I saved you all some time. You never punish. This was never going to go wrong. You pathetic fools. You will all hear Gerxel's judgments in a bit. Hey. Oh, oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Let's get it. Don't wait accidentally. Oh, yeah. This better be the place. Yeah, it looks like the place with the sword, so it probably is the place. Come on, game. Let me... Might be below it. Or it might be like this. Yeah. Holy sword. I don't care what Lady Claris says. This thing is just a rusty old sword. Gonna pull out Holmes. We're already just gonna stand here in disbelief all day. All right, I'm doing it. Come here, you 800-year-old piece of junk. It's Excalibur! I can recognize super, super obvious references.
Oh, that's a pretty cool animation. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's a curved sword. Didn't expect that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? The sacred blade has been revived by your courage and love for Lady Katri. Katri's love? The ring of Salia that Katri gave you. Yutona created those bracelets so that her daughters could control the power of the Guardian Dragons with them. It was Yutona's power that gave Carduan's blade its power to begin with, so it is only natural that the power of her bloodline should restore its glory. The strength that Carduan bore. If this is what I'll need to defeat Gwen Chaos, then I'll take it gladly. I'll kill that bastard and save Katri. I'm feeling fired up now. Let's go. Into the catacombs. Agnes is just the thing obtained. How very nice. Okay, what else is happening here? Uh, oh. Where are we going, Holmes? Where are we going? I remember this hallway. We came down here last time I was here. She's about to get wrecked, isn't she? I feel like she's about to get wrecked. It's, it's, it's like <laughs> Fire Emblem. What language are these inscriptions in? I can't even make out the writing. It's Old Zone, written in the ancient script. These days, it's only used as a scribal and a clest... Ecclesiastical. <laughs> Ecclesiastical language. I will translate it for you. The first mule reads, There was a time when this land was ruled and enslaved by a wicked god. His was a reign of terror and madness, and all who challenged him were consumed in all the holy flames of darkness. This is the opening scroll for the yeah, game. Yeah, and this it? is the opening scroll music as well. Mm. And this is the opening scroll background stuff is on the murals as mm. well. So this is the Tearing Saga that we've been hearing about. But there was a slave who stood up and raised a rebellion against the god's tyranny. However, he could not hope to fight against the god's awesome power. As he lay dying, he prayed to heaven and begged for the strength to face the darkness. At that moment, his wounds were healed and a fair goddess appeared before him in the form of a great dragon. The goddess said to him, O oh, brave youth, take up your sword once more. I grant you the power to conquer evil and bring my peace to this land. The goddess was Utona, creator of the four guardians, and a daughter of the mother goddess Miradona. With Utona's blessing and love, the hero slew the foul god and freed his people. Holmes, stop getting in the way, she's trying to read. He became king over the land and led his kingdom to a prosperous future. He now rests in peace with his fallen friends and his children are left to carry on his will. But his profound love of justice and freedom will never perish from this world. That's it? Is this the myth of Cardwan? What a waste of time. You don't believe in the legend of Cardwan? I'm sure he was a real person, but all that nonsense about gods and divine blessings is just fantasy. It's all propaganda made to justify keeping kings in power. Don't get me wrong, I love hearing old legends and traditions. It's just pointless to believe in them. For the entirety of human history, sorcerers have performed magic for the masses and called it the power of the gods, even though it's all completely mundane. It's easy to fool the uneducated. Just get them to believe in a hero, and they will follow him for generations. If Cardinal existed, he was just a man whose wife was a skilled sorceress. Nothing more, nothing less. It is true that many of the stories of heroes are fabricated later. However, the table engraved here is no fiction. These beautiful murals were crafted by Lady Salia herself, and they have stood unchanged for 700 years. They tell nothing but the truth. The love between Cardwan and Utoina was real, eternal, and immortal. Checkmate, atheists. I have no doubts about the love of between Cardwan and Utoina, but... Sorry, I got carried away. Don't worry about it. Shall we go onward, Lord Holmes? We have a long road through the catacombs ahead of us to reach the Altar of Gods. It will take several days to get there. Let's get going then. I'm ready for whatever's ahead. And also, I'm sorry Lady Claris, but I can't take you any further than this. Why ever not? To be honest, you'd only be a burden. If I have to worry about protecting you while we're fighting, I won't be able to focus as well on the, during the battles at hand. Is that so? In that case, I will collect the artifact that I came for and return to Castle Celia. You take care of yourself, Lord Holmes. And please, save Princess Catri. Leave it to me. Lady Claris, I know I don't deserve it, but could I make one selfish request of you? Yeah, what is it? Rudin and Ente, please watch over them for me. 
Oh, she's... Okay. She leaving, I guess. Psych. <laughs> Psyched, indeed. They got me. Okay, and so while they're doing that, we're doing rooting things? Okay. Yeah. Your Highness, I have come with Princess Vashea of Sophia. Prince Barker, Prince Julius. Oh, it's the it's the third wheel. It's the third wheel of the yeah. game. It's an honor to see you again. You needn't be so formal, Rashea. Just because you're the princess of Sophia now doesn't mean you're not still our sister. Now, please tell us about the Senate. Of course, Barker. I will start from the beginning. You recall the fire that took the life of Arliss' wife, Lady Celine? I can't say I do, but I'll take your word for it. Of course I remember. I will never forget what I saw that day. Our brother turning over every single last charred board of that old house. His grief when he found his wife's body. I can still hear his cries of anguish. Right, but what Arliss didn't know was that Lady Nafas wet nurse had taken the two children and fled to safety. Then why did she not return the children to their father at once? Their attackers were still in pursuit, so the nurse went to a nearby village and hired a traveling swordswoman to protect them. The children were spared, spared from harm, but the nurse was slain by her pursuers. So what happened to this mercenary woman? In her dying moments, the nurse told the mercenary the true identity of the children and of their attackers. The assassins were led by none other than Queen Consort Carla herself. Carla, I don't believe it. That woman, she... she killed Lady Celine? She was the only one... she was the one who caused her brother so much grief? I'm afraid so. She broke into the mansion while Arliss was away with the intent of... to kidnap Lady Nafa from her cradle. Lady Celine, who stood in her way, saw Carla murdered her. Why would Carla do that? Why would Carla do such a thing? What could she hope to gain from it? She was under orders. Carla is a witch of the cult of Gerxel. Are you are you seeing any similarity, plot similarities? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. Carla is a witch of the cult of Gerxel. Not only that, she's one of Gwen Chaos's most trusted assistants. When Bahanuk struggled to unify the Zoan lands and wipe out the cult began, she was sent to his side in the hopes of tearing Kanata apart from the inside. That's a lot of text, bro. <laughs> So that woman is responsible for father's sudden change two years ago? Correct. For 18 years, she used her charms and her sorcery to corrupt Bahanuk's mind, bending him to her will, the cult's will. I see. Ah, so it's more FE7 template then, I see. I yeah, see. That, that's, that's that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. yeah. I was like, I know, what is, what is this again? It's like, oh, it's it's Nino, Nurgle, Sonia, Brendan, right? Yeah. yeah. I see. But why did she try to kidnap Nefa? Because Lady Nefa bears the brand of Utona, marking her as a vessel for wretches. Her blood was to be sacrificed in order to resurrect the Dark God. Resurrect the Dark God? Is that even possible? It's not only possible, it's in very real danger of happening. Despite our best efforts to protect her, Gwen Chaos has captured Lady Nefa. What? When did this happen? Several days ago, Prince Senate and I were making our way to the Wind Shrine when we were ambushed. But you were with her, weren't you? How could you let that happen? Forgive me, Lord Brother. Surprise, we did. None of us could even get close to Gwen Chaos, let alone stop him. What done is done, Barker. Let Rashea finish her story. Please continue, Rashea. Right. The swordswoman who had been entrusted with the royal children fled to her home in Iriol and raised them as her own. She was Katrina, daughter of Lord Temujin. The warlord? Not the first foster family I'd have chosen, but perhaps it was fortune smiling on our brother that his lost children could be raised in the household of his good friend. Yes, though Lord Temujin was unaware of the children's importance until only recently. The two of them grew up into fine young adults, completely ignorant of their heritage. But when Nefa turned 15 last year, there was a shocking incident. Nefa and Senate had accompanied Lord Temujin during his campaign against the Kingdom of Historia. They were ambushed. In her fear, the guardian dragon Ratches that was slumbering inside her awoke. Burning several dozen soldiers alive, Lady Nefa was understandably distraught. And that's when Prince Senate started asking questions about their bloodline. It's, I like how they always refer to the dragons by like separate names when they do something, mm -hmm. and they, they switch back to talking about li like Lady, Na Lady Nefa, mm -hmm. Lady Entei, etc. Mm -hmm. When they realize after, like they're completely different people. Mm -hmm. The cult was growing stronger each day. Lady Katrina knew she couldn't protect the children on her own any longer, so she sought help from her father. Temujin consulted the exiled sage Eisenbach, who in turn contacted me. And by the time I got to Ariel, the children had already learned the truth. They were both in a state of shock. I'm not surprised. 
but despite that, Prince Senet vowed that he would move heaven and earth to protect Neifa from anyone who would threaten her. He took up arms soon after that. So he's declared war on the cult and the empire to defend Neifa? Not very much like his father. Arlo's always tried to fight for what he believed in, even if it meant going against father. Like when he arranged for you to be taken in by the Kingdom of Sophia after your mother passed away. I will never understand why father did what he did back then. It was all Carla's doing. Even back then, he was already under that witch's influence. I saw Carla murder my mother to get closer to Bahanuk, but when I told him, he dismissed it as fantasy brought on by my grief. He thought it impossible that his beloved concubine could ever do such a thing. Carla convinced him that punishment, his punishment was in order, and so I was exiled. Goodness gracious. Speaking of yourself, what are your and Senet's plans from now on? We have been accompanying the Leaden Branch of the Champions of Utona, but we lost a great deal of soldiers after we separated. Recently, we've been gathering recruits from Sophia and Canaan, as well as a few of the other, from the other Zoan lands. Once our forces have grown strong enough, we plan to assault the Canaan Hall and free both Canaan and Sophia from the Empire. And what would you have us do, Rashea? I don't know how to proceed beyond that. I came here to seek your counsel. I hope that the two of you will be able to tell me the appropriate course of action. That depends. What exactly are you going to do about the Emperor? The Emperor is the cult's puppet now. Nothing we, will, we do will change that. Could you do it though? Could you kill your father without the slightest hesitation? Bahanuk is no father of mine. My father was the king of Zofia, whom he murdered on his quest to unify Zoa. I will not hesitate. Is that so? Senate is resolved as well, I take it? He is. We both have already made a choice. In that case, please send word to Senate that I'll take care of the Emperor and Empress myself. No, Julius, I should be the one to do it. I've already been branded a traitor. I knew it would have to come to this eventually, so I've prepared myself. There's no reason for you to do it instead of me. Julius, you've stayed true to yourself throughout this entire conflict. Not once did you falter in the face of the Emperor's wrath. But I, I've been a coward. I've willingly played into his hands, waging war in his own name. I must atone for what I've done. The sin must be mine to bear. I believe that Kanan will be in good hands with Prince Senet. I have faith in Reche's word. Surely you sympathize, Julius. You must do what you feel is right. My only desire is to preserve our Lord Brother Arlis's honor. So, how can I help? We cannot let Runen advance any further. If he takes Reef Palace, it will only be a week's march until he gets to the Kanan Hall. We must ensure that Senate is able to get there first and solidify his position. Otherwise, their peace negotiations will be not between their reborn kingdoms, but rather the conquerors and the conquered. Then I will defend Reef Palace to the death. Sorry to ask this of you, Julius. Ernst will be here to help fortify the city. As for me, I shall make for the Canaan Hall immediately. I will return to Prince Senate's side as soon as I can and inform of, of the situation. Oh, oh. Uh, Barker, a guard just reported that Stephanie is missing from her chambers. Do you know where she could have gone? She's gone missing? Of all times. People go missing all the time, but... Well, that was a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. A southern Corps. Do you feel... Do you feel like you... Yeah, like... Yeah, do you feel like do you feel like you're able to follow what was going on, or do you need any help with that? A little bit of help would be appreciated because I get the. I mean, it's, it's because I know the Nino story. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I get what is going on there, and I understand mm -hmm. that they're like they were the, they were the little the third wheel to the whole the third branch of the Utana champions. They even called mm -hmm. themselves. They were like doing another thing on the side, but I'm not quite sure why they're trying to stop us now from why they're stopping to okay. trying to stop Rudin now. Oh, okay, so. Okay, so I'm trying to think of whether I should start from the start or whether I should cover <laughs> the last big thing first. Um, because Rudin is on his so, way to Reef Palace. Yeah, sure. so the th the thing with Rudin specifically right now is 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 like they said, it's kind of like a succession problem. Basically, it's what Barker wants to basically go there and like get. Either and I don't I don't remember whether he, he kills the emperor or not or whether he um or whether he simply tries to get the emperor to abdicate in favor of Senate because Senate Senate is the eldest son of of um not not the eldest son no S Senate I think going by like the primacy laws or whatever is like the is like the has the strongest claim because um Arliss was the eldest son of Bahanuk right. Mm -hmm. And that's the guy that got killed by um, Ente when she was the water dragon, basically. Like when 
do, 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 do you, you remember how that, that stuff happened, right? Or do you remember that plot element, right? Where, where she accidentally turned into a dragon and killed people? Or do you not, do you yeah, not yeah, remember that Yeah, I remember that part. part, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the... the the because Senate is the son of the eldest son, um, he has the strongest claim. So he's trying to get Senate to become the king, and then then it can negotiate with Runan as the new you know emperor of Canaan. And instead of it being oh Runan conquers Canaan and then gets to dictate everything that happens afterwards, basically that they're they're, they're focusing on their own dynasty and their own um, negotiating position, basically as a as a country, as a nation, and but primarily as a family dynasty kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, and then the the whole thing with Arliss, I mean, I think you got most of it, especially because I just said that Arliss was the, was the oldest son of Bahanuk, so, um, and he's the one, he's what he's the one of the one, the one that died before, um, so, and that's the one that they're talking, that, the one they're talking about and everything. Although, I, to be honest, I would probably need to look at a a family relation tree thing to get to fully be able to explain things correctly, but yeah, <laughs> yeah it is a little bit confusing sometimes. Mm -hmm. It is, especially because there's the whole operation, like everything related to that whole group is just a text. Yeah. <laughs> like everything. It, yeah, it would help to have like, you know, um, like a vis some kind of visual, like showing them on the map moving around doing things or whatever when they're talking about stuff, you know, like uh, in a Something like that would definitely go a long way. Sure. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's so it's overall a little bit convoluted because, especially because it's been now I don't know how many how many months has it been since you've done the the big back story Lord Dump thing that kind of tried to flesh out the differences between all the between all the kingdoms and everything. Yeah. I feel like that part is I mean the. So that part was long, but at least the the main thing to take away from it was just one line. It was just, okay, people came from different backgrounds and then all end up in one place, and that's what caused a lot of conflict, basically. Like, at least that is relatively well, simple to parse. Yeah, 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 but I mean, I think I think there's a little bit more little bit more to it than that, but yeah, you could... There is, you could, there so, is but that's yeah. the main thing, right? It's the most important part of it. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is like a whole part about family trees and who has conquered what and who's related to who and who died when because yeah. of it's a little more complex in that nature. Mm. But at, at least I understand the, the family politics now a little bit better. Okay, you can use Pilums. That's pretty good too. Tomahawk. All right. I'm assuming there's not a like, long castle map or like, some kind of long uh, field map coming up here. Um, I'd, I'd say that because you don't have warp, you're going to have to actually do... Yeah. Actually, I don't even remember if you can skip most of these, but yeah, you'll have a real map to do, basically. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Uh, you're going to have mostly okay swords. Oh, right, I have this. This should be interesting to... Like, oh, I have this too. Hold up, that's a good sword. Okay. Alright, so I bought pillows, I bought killer lances my people refresh mm -hmm. some inventories should be good let me take one more person i think like wasn't vega on here yeah he is oh yeah he still has the soul with 44 uses all right we should be good then i think sure. maybe some healing items oh i still have, like four money bags here what the heck should i just spend all that right probably now? yeah probably spend that Alright. City man, I have more money bags for you. Uh, can I sell from Convoy? No, right? It's probably just gonna do this. I don't think so. Alright. I come bearing money bags. Comes. All right, I'm rich again. Is there anything else important that I could buy here? Not really, right? Killing edges, I guess. They can have many of those. I can buy oh, rapiers now. Good if you, you <laughs> I can buy rapiers. That's funny. I think it's a bit late for those. Yeah, I think so too. I gave him one with twelve uses. That's like all he needs, probably. Yeah. 
Do you have killer lances? Those are yeah. Good. I bought a couple. I can buy like uh -huh. more, but I got like two spares. Anything in anything for like like casters maybe? I don't know. Oh, I guess there is a as a vendor. I mean, my casters here are like Marielle, who's basically you untrained. Got, you've got what's his name? R R R R R oh, um, personal weapon guy. Yeah. Uh, Richelle. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, but he's got. He's got plenty of uses, but you might want to give him some because thirty-three might run out, I guess. But I guess you've got a repair thing, so I don't know. Yeah, Never mind, you've got these two. Yeah, he, he doesn't need anything. Yeah, I don't know. Buying shields, maybe that's all I can think of. I'm assuming those are here. Think so. Yep. Never thought I'd be buying iron shields. But here we are. It's a good thing to have, I guess. Yeah, I think I have some fruit. I'll just... Come on, give me fruit. Alright, I'll keep some, I guess. I'm overstocked already anyway, it's no. fine. Alright, save that system one more time, and I guess we'll, we'll play another map, because uh, those two maps were not really maps. Although there was a lot of story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we move into Southern Reeve. I like how there's even a country called Sophia when there's already a country called Sophia and a character called Sophia in Fire Emblem. <laughs> Although Sophia, the person, was FE6, which I think is made after this? Or at least after Kaga left IS. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of tanks. That is a lot of tanks. Yeah, I think this is also like the meme map where like if you spend like Ten turns, another tank guy that you can recruit shows up some somewhere. <laughs> but I don't even remember. God, God this is disgusting weapons and shields too. Yep. What the heck? Um. Okay, so I came from the south, so I probably here in that open area here. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, and this guy is here. Yeah. My my strategy for this back. Back when I did this, was something like, um, I had plum on like I I had plum and uh, Renee on different routes. So I had plum on this route, and I like used the half damage thing. I forget what it's called, but used the half damage thing on Alicia, so Alicia could one run KO all of the armor guys and like take like no damage from everything uh -huh. with her with her dire thunder or something like that. But I don't know what you're what you're gonna have to do here. I guess Richelle can probably do something similar. But I hope he doesn't run out of magic as well. Yeah, they have 16 attack. And Rochelle has... He gets like extra defense from Sunflame, right? Yeah, it's he like has 8 10. base and I think he has 10 more. Yeah, so he'll actually take no damage. So Maybe that they... means they won't attack him though, is the thing, so... Won't they? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, wait, who do I bring? There's probably someone I don't need to bring here, because I want to bring Billford. Elford has Mug now, remember, so like, be careful about putting him near people. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's like negative charming. Uh, I suppose... Oh, she's bad. Goodbye. I don't know why she's on there. I think it was because we last map was like, flyer yeah. friendly. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I don't think anyone else is... Oh, Yoda's pretty good. Yoda's good. Yeah. Uh, instead of... Narcos. You don't need Narcos. True. I guess Narcus isn't as good as Zane. I keep thinking of him as Zane, but Zane is much better. Yeah, Narcus doesn't actually get the same kind of stats. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll we'll see how this works out. I suppose. With no warp. Yeah. I, if I can get through the tanks with Rochelle in one turn, I don't think he'll be super painful. I'm kind of worried about the ballistas on the hill. But maybe if I take out the wyvern and then I can kill him with my uh, my flyer. Because they don't have... There's like an Eye of the Storm here, probably? Uh, not really. If I take one out, and then I canter, like, here or here, I'm safe, I think. Yeah. That might be the play. Uh, let's see if they have anything to say for themselves. Oh, brave soldiers. You have faced unspeakable dangers and obtained many proud victories. But despite your magnificent successes, the victories you won have been undone. 
And I, Barker, am responsible. Because of my failures, all for which you have fought and suffered will be lost. My brave warriors of Canaan, you have my deepest apologies, but please hear my last request. For your sons and daughters, and for the future of Canaan, we must delay the enemy here for as long as possible. Here and now, I need you to fight for your fatherland one last time. Reminds me of, uh... Uh, Eldigan's speech to his cross knights, except mm -hmm. a little better. You heard the man. Prince Barker is returning to the Canaan Hall, his heart heavy with grief. For his highness's sake, we must stop the Ravens from advancing any further. The future of Canaan depends on us. Let us fight for the fatherland, even to the bitter end. For the nobility! Oh. Wait. What? Hold on. Runan, I'll never forgive you. Huh? Yo. You, do you not remember her? I... I do, but I don't. I don't remember who she okay, is. Okay, that's that that's um the that's the daughter of Barbarossa, I believe, or granddaughter. I don't forget his daughter or granddaughter, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the su the super super badass that like blew himself up, yeah, or something, yeah. The Runin, that is the royal palace there on that hill. I think I don't know that Yugen. I went there with father dozens of times. It appears you are of ill humor. Did you not make peace with Lady Ente? Forgive me, I overstepped on my bounds. I should not be bothering you about personal troubles before a battle. My apologies, Lord Runin. No, you're right, Yugen. For now, I must bury those feelings. I can't be going into battle with such an uncertain heart. Don't ever change, Yugen. You've always been there to rile me up and get me to admit what's on my mind, to guide me along the right path. I am very fortunate to have you as an advisor and guardian. I know not what you speak of, my lord. I'm just doing what I think is right. Regardless, I thank you. Now then, the enemy's wooden batteries have begun to move into position. Do be careful, Lord Runen. Okay, so it feels like... Oh, if, is this Rochelle? Then we can just take him out here. Hold up. I was gonna, like, go around the pathway, but... It might be easy to just, like, blow, blow him up here. Mm -hmm. At least, like, if I just attack one on player phase... Sure, they might not attack me, but if I attack them, then we don't care. Uh, these, like, do a little bit of damage to him. The flyer's right here. Oh, interesting. I thought, I thought it would be closer to this side. That's why I was, like, being pessimistic. Hmm. Yeah. I can just get rid of the Wyvern, then I can save. Actually, I could probably take a hit from the Wyvern, right? What about the Ballista? Aren't the Ballista going to attack your Flyers? Oh, well, so the, what I'm thinking is, if I take out one Ballista with the Eleven Sword, um, with my Flyer, and then I canto into a spot where none of the bow guys can reach me, which I think exists... I think I found one. I think it's this square. So if I take out... Captain Ballista. Which one? Oh, I see. If you attack the top Ballista, then you can't go right below. Is what yeah, the idea is that these two Ballistas can't reach me there. So I'd be like doing this and then canter one left. I see. I think that would get the job done. It's turn one, so I might as well just try it. Eleven Sword, because I think she has enough. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, and then go in here to keep her out of range of the ballista or the, the corpse man guy here. Squared lance here. Uh, let me just make sure you can't reach any of my zero HP people. Uh, we have lead shield. That's not enough to keep you safe, though. We're gonna have to surround Entei, Muriel. Lee is probably fine. Oh, Lee is like fine by one HP. I would, I, I would not count on Lee being fine against that wyvern. That guy hits pretty hard. He's twenty nine. And Lee has 30 total, I think. Okay. Hilariously enough. Uh, he's like some crit. Uh, I do need to like... If I'm breathing like Lee in range, I have to make sure he's out of range of Ballista. That's the only thing. Uh, but other than that, it's not super dangerous here. Uh, I suppose... Ra works. Maybe Raffin can just help kill that guy. I don't know. Uh, what? Like, this, like, like what I'm saying? No, no, no. Use Ra... No, no. Sorry. The flying, your wyvern, Raffin. Oh, right. He exists. That's true. Uh, and well, you could dis and if you're worried, you could dismount and then fight the guy as well. I yeah, um, I only have lances right now, but you can use those dismounted too, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I believe he can. So you could dismount and then try to kill a lance. Yeah, I guess because I can't canter from here because I'm, I'm out of spaces. Uh, I can't yeah. one on kill, unfortunately, unless I crit. But I guess it's worth going for because like there's no drawback. If to you it. move move Esther up further before you do that, then for the extra crit. I like that too. All right, Esther here. And then we'll go up here. 
dismount and try. See if we have to like take this into account at all. To the highest credit is the kill lands, so we'll try that. He I think he reduces his damage bonus and he's double crits now. No, crits are crits remember crits are, don't work differently in this game. We'll so find one out. crit will be enough. Alright. He did not well. No okay, well maybe he gets attacked by the wyvern now because he's low on HP, I don't know. Okay, so just physic him. Just physic him. Oh it's yeah. Fine. Uh, let's see, so we can Physic from out of range. Let me just make sure I don't do in range of other things here. That's fine. Okay, so just move all the... Actually, if I just move all the clerics left, that's easier. Uh, so we can go here. Easy. Raffin. Knights. And then Entei. Entei's the safe stat, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Okay. Here and Vega's fine. Muriel's not fine. Vega's just flag his range. Hold on. Don't go here. Don't go here. Uh, so if you go here, Runin is probably fine against just the Wyvern. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so just make sure Lee doesn't isn't do a ballista as well. Yeah, ideally. I'll use a space for Lee here. I can even cover him from the wyvern. It's probably better than not doing that. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, and I guess Mince can probably flurry this guy and canter away. There's only one guy here. 21 attack. He's a shield, I think. No, he's a fruits. I have Flurry Pillum, this guy, maybe? To take no damage. What does he have? Javi? Oh, Pillum as well. Okay. And a shield. Okay. Fine, I'll just cancel it to forest, I guess. See this? Worst case, I can take him out with Rochelle, and then we'll see if the ballistas attack in. The, the tanks, I mean. Okay, nice. Oh, if I went closer, I could have taken... Wait, is this still the fort? This is the fort. Yeah, that's that's the fort. That's the fort. You'll recover HP there and you have nice. extra avoid. And this tank... Cannot even reach him. So I guess it's like go balls to the wall with my Sunflame here. It's probably a yeah. fastest route through this. Maybe not in range of, like, Ballistas. Yeah, just stay the range of Ballistas is probably better. Go here. Sunflame. Yeah, so they don't do any damage to him. And he doesn't want to kill, but it's unfortunate. Go get him, boy. <laughs> Alright. Okay, alright. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's okay, his stats are already great. Yeah. It doesn't his doesn't matter. His bases are his, his personal weapon. Okay, that should be good, right? Unless you want to move Pilford out of the way because he has Mug, but that's yeah, not I'll, gonna uh, go. I'll throw him up here because I don't think. Oh, move. set him on a solo mission. Yeah, why not? Because <laughs> that, that's the only thing he can do. He can do at this point. All right, Pilford on a mission. Uh, is this, this doesn't leave me open, does it? No, it's fine. Okay. All right, he's on the fort. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's see if they attack uh, Rochelle, the tankies. Yep, they do. All right. Yes. All okay. right. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> oh. Okay. I... They changed their mind. Maybe not. I was going to say, maybe this is like... You know how in Conquest, if you have uh, Vantage Life and Death or something, and you kill one enemy, the rest of them learn, like, oh, I don't want that to happen to me. Let's just not attack this uh, <laughs> this Ophelia, this Odin here. And they'll just not do it anymore. These are... Very strange. Very strange that some of them are just going and some aren't. I'm surprised, but not super surprised, because I've seen enemies, like, make random movements in this game before, so... Either they have, like, different AI, depending on which tank it is, or they're just... You know, they have randomized AI. One of those two things is probably true. I right, go for my billfort, I dare you. No, Mr. Corpsman. This will not do. Okay, yeah, you, you distract those guys, billfort. You got this. Uh, that's the... Okay, alright. That's 
fine. Goodbye. Nice. Okay. See. There you go. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that, that did look like more than 18 damage, which is what he would do with each double damage. Yeah, it's double the attack power. Yeah. Different from double damage. So it's basically just FE4 crits, okay. I yeah. I could swear there was like someone in the comments saying it was not the case, but I might be, I might be confusing it with something else. This should be fine. That's the only one he's in range of anyway. Alright, well... Oh, what, what are you all doing? Oh, God. Are you serious? Oh my god. I'm sadly no, I am not kidding. Well, then. I mean, I guess it's time to seize quickly. What is she doing? She's just vibing here? She's vibing. Runa, can you like talk to her or something? She seems kinda mad. No. I don't I don't believe you can talk to her. Okay. So just Okay, just, just five in them, okay. Alright, well... So... Maybe if I take out both... Oh, wait, is this... Does this kill? Looks like it does. Okay, what if I kill the Wyvern, and then I have Raffin take the forts and pill him a Ballista? Sounds like, sounds like a good idea. Let's, let's do it. Uh, watch out for this guy. Alright. Uh, Love Sword. I would really like to not have to deal with this every single turn. And it feels like those, those, if it happens on turn two, it's going to happen for a couple more turns, I feel like. is the vibe I'm getting from this. Okay, all right. Fine. Oh, also, B, that, 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 the enemy, the, the right enemy thing, those are mage knights, so I don't think Bilford is that great versus them. Oh, hold up, I thought they were bow knights. Oh, oh, oh hold up. Um, I have a magnitude somewhere. I might have put it in convoy. Oh, never mind, he has it. Uh, this is... plus some res. Well, wasn't there a permanent magic shield? That was only for thunder magic, I that's think. That's the thunder shield, yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, it's this one. Uh, they had fire, right? Oh, they have thunder. Okay, hold up. It might be Raphael time. Uh, you guys have steel axes, okay, whatever. Okay, Billford's solo mission has now ended. He's now a Raphael solo mission. I don't know if this will kill. Because of the shields. Oh, these guys on low HP. 63 hit. Uh, okay, apparently, you, you you do get something if you talk to her with Runin. Not immediately, but you do get something. Okay. I don't think I did that in my run, but you can do it if you want, I guess. I will probably try to, like, route Runin towards the throne. Cringe miss, by the way. Um, okay, this is slightly annoying because now I have to deal with that. I guess. Oh, Esther can. Oh, Esther doesn't have a pill. What the heck? I have someone in convoy, though. Yeah, her loadout is weird as hell right now. Yeah, I don't know what, why she's having all this stuff. I forgot to just load her inventory up, I guess. Okay, well, I do want to do this. Kill this ballista. Five. Oh, he needs to crit to kill, doesn't he? I guess I might have to kill Lance then. Because if I mount, I get ballistaed. Do I get Kanto after I do this? No, mount that's time? it. Mounting, mounting, you don't get. I don't think so. Actually, I don't know. You could save staff and try, but I actually don't. I think once you mount, you lose your ability to move again. I think you're right. Uh, in that case, maybe I just do. Oh, this is not a kill either. Wait, it's... you don't? You, I don't think you even have Kanto when you're dismounted, though. Is the thing? No, so, like, definitely not. Yeah. Actually, it's only when you're. It's only when you're. Like, trust me, I've seen. I yeah. tried to get that skill to to Leone when she was like mm -hmm. an archer, and it didn't do anything. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'll do this because, like, even if I don't kill this Blista, I effectively kill a Wyvern by doing this. So I think this is still worth yeah. trying for. That's fine. I guess it's also out of range for Bester. Um, I guess Runen just moves and does it. Like, just gives a pillum to Esther, I guess. Like, he's only in range of two ballistas and a bow knight, and he has a miracle charm still. I guess he has an iron shield, so he has 17 defense. Yeah, they, they probably won't even attack him. Uh, item trade. Envoy. Get some plums. 
Alliance. Trade Esther. Let's search for res, right? What is her res? It's not great. Alright, you just want to have mercy. Okay, okay, alright. I got it work. And now the women are safe for now. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Um, it's probably safe. stay there because it will spawn. He'll spawn more shit. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I just want to kill the bow knight so he stops attacking Brunin, and the next turn the one will hopefully suicide. Wait, doesn't this have three range? Oh, I can kill a ballista here too. I want to make progress on the tanks as well, especially because these probably won't attack me. Thirty-two. This is not. Oh, he's, he's doubling these guys. I'll see you that. Bow Knight comes towards Runen, I can kill him with other units, and that leaves Rochelle free to deal with other things. So I think I'll kill a, a tank instead. Because um, those are really what's hindering Runen from moving towards the throne. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do, I do think this map is sort of interesting, although it's obviously it's got problems. <laughs> okay, and I probably want Yoda for the boss. The heck is all this? The boss is, boss is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, well, at least the warp blade doesn't really matter to Yoda, and it's not very strong. So, as long as it doesn't switch to that shield blade, we have a chance. Oh, we need, like, crits or something. Soul, Pavis. Okay, it's one of those. It's one of those. Okay. Okay, it's one of those. <laughs> well, I mean, I have Sword Breaker. So the worst case, I can just break all the swords, I guess. I have the Lukut. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put him in like a forest closer to Drone. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. It's just, I feel like this is kind of a boss where I can't just like send, I don't know, Raph and Adam or something and just expect yeah. it to work out. Correct. Alright, Sram. I'm pretty sure Brave Sword Yoda should be able to fight him okay. I hope but... so. I think if I live this turn, I will uh, use a safe staff just so I don't have to go through all that again. I'm mostly worried about Esther right now. Oh, right, you have that too, of course. I mean, it's not going to heal him the full, so I think a Raffin attack will still kill him. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, alright. You made your decision, goodbye. Oh, okay. That's for monsters? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should still have to pill him, so that's fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, be okay, please. Oh, I mean, okay, sure. I think that I think I have shields, so that might be why that happened. Definitely not Mince's fault. Uh, Mince. He's fine. Is he? There's a blister there too. Please miss. Sure. I should have given him a shield, probably. If I was gonna do this mission, yeah, he's totally dead now. He got a good level up. There's no way he survives that. Esther. Oh, it is Raphael. They, they went for shielded Raphael over Esther. Alright, keeping it tense, I see. Alright, it's time to miss, Mr. Ballista. Um, please. It's because um, Belford's in range, so his accuracy is shit. Belford. Okay, Bruno being bait for Ballista is all good. And the miss. Another miss. Hey, more skills for the guy that gets like everything in this game. Let's go. All right, moment of truth. Will Min survive? He will not. Nope. F. Uh, I don't remember what he had, but I feel like Mint is not worth a massive reset like this. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Come on, stop, stop. God, stop it. Ripmans. Ripmans. That is if I can take over his fort right now. That was also that was also who you needed to recruit the guy, who, the, the shitty tank that spawns on this map. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
That's great. Okay. So... I really don't want to have to deal with the Pilum guy every turn. So I probably have to, like, Vega and then Yoda to Ford, I guess? If he can even make it there. Not sure if he has to move to make it, because he has six. One, two, for the force, probably. And the four probably takes movement, too. To move on to, right? Mm hmm So I guess I can't take it this turn, which means the Plum guy is going to be around. Oh, what a mess. Definitely doing this. And probably the other Ballista too, or the, uh, the tanky is pretty tempting too. No way you can kill a tank, right? Nah, you get too strong. Maybe just kill the Pillum guy, let Rochelle cook for a turn. And then next turn Rochelle's in range to take over the fort. It's gotta be something like that. Maybe the tanks will decide to set to like suicide on him as well. Oh god, he doesn't double these. Oh god. Okay. Get this guy out of here. Okay, so this is where the tank reaches. And this is where the bow knight reaches. Retreat for one second. Uh, I kind of want to go for yeah. If I want to do the enemy phase shenanigans, I have to use keep everyone out of range. But this probably means I probably won't have anyone to cover up the fort anyway. So maybe this was all just not worth. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get that fort though. So move away, Bill Fort. Cringe. Slightly less cringe. Wait. Oh, Belford is in range, that's why her hit is so shit. Oh, what? Okay, but I, I could do this if I kill the tank. I probably can't kill the tank, though. I moved him to the. I, I wish I moved him further away. Um, summon golems? Question mark? Two golems, go. They move after enemy phase, right? I think so, yeah. Hmm, that's not gonna help here. How did he miss so many hits on this guy? Wait, did he? Bilford's now out oh, of was, range. Oh, Bilford was in range before. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Uh, 16 crit. Yes, I think I'd rather try from the forest with Raphael first. Oh, I guess I can do this now. There's not a whole lot Esther can do anyway, so it probably doesn't. Yeah, the herd is, the herd is too garbage. Billford really is MVP for this one. Okay, mm -hmm. just go here, trade for the range weapon. Range weapon. Uh, I don't want to do him, trust me. Uh, kill Lance. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, some of like that. Yeah. I keep forgetting how massive Mug is. I think that's the main problem here. Okay, this is mm -hmm. all good. We can go here. Hopefully that guy stays on the fort. Nah, he's just gonna die to Rochelle if he does that anyway. I was like, what if I can get enemies to block each other? But that's not gonna work here. Oh, don't get the fool. No. Mm, that's probably just enough to stay alive. Okay. This is good.
Oh god. What a weapon. Okay. No, it doesn't want to attack my sh um, shell. That's fine. You get out of here. That's one less enemy you have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Normal things happening. Okay. Please die. Close enough. It probably means we need we need to be escorted by Rochelle for those guys. What a map. I can understand why some people might want to warp this one instead. Yeah. Okay, but now I have 11 sword to kill things here. So probably Mount Raffin. You don't get the move, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I was counting on staying there anyway. Mm. Mm, I can't get the tank with uh, Sasha because she'll die, but I can probably get the Bow Knight and canter back to safety. I can't get the Ballista from here. What is Richelle doing on Starlight uses or whatever it's called? It's 18 left. Some slim. Okay. It's enough for now, but I probably need a couple because these forces just keep on coming. Okay, how about can you kill this thing? It's like a shield, right? I guess there's not many people, many, many of these guys anyway, so I might as well just try this. I think I'm not safe staffing because this is such a scuffed clear that it probably, if it ends up like with it being a reset or something, mm -hmm. I could just get mints back as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we can go here. Probably save him for Physic. Yoda's not doing anything, Shiva's not doing anything, or Vega's not doing anything. I'll just get this one with Yoda. Get Vega closer to doing things. And then I mean once the once the tanks in the middle are at the way, like that's the, the scary enemies gone, really, to be honest. Like those are the annoying ones that just mm -hmm. do way too much damage. Yeah. I guess I'll get rid of this Ballista if I can. The Oko's okay. We'll have a couple clowns like, going for Rune here or something, but that's fine. Uh, don't go for my Lee. I guess I'll kill the Bow Knight. Eleven Sword seems like an okay weapon to repair with like Smith's Hammer, so I guess I'll just leave that there. Get out of here. And then I think this is the safe square I was on. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's good. And then these guys can you crit Lee or something? Yeah, probably can, so don't put him in range. I don't think anyone needs a physic right now. Yeah, we're good on that. So just move on. Feel for it in the naughty corner. Uh, I don't know if I should do this because like it saves a turn on these two, but they also they can't kill these guys anyway. Maybe just move them to the right now because the ballistas are gone, so I can like hide here. Mm -hmm. Maybe leave the golems here as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll summon some golems and see what they do. So you can go here. The gollies out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that scream. Ah. All right, golems, let's get it. Uh, we do need to get rid of this rider, though. I guess Esther and then Kanto away. Oh, I guess I gotta stay with here so with someone to keep the mage knights from coming like closer to me. Yeah, I kind of have to stay here actually. Um, don't have any armor slayers or anything for this guy, so it's fine. I 
think maybe... No, I gotta keep the pillum equipped to kill the Mage Knights. It's fine. The, these guys are just gonna perpetually be left on 1 HP every time. I'm afraid. That's okay. There's always the chance for a crit. Yeah, and if that happens, then we can maybe make some progress over here. But right now, it's not looking too great. Okay. We've barely moved out of our starting position, but the tanks are mostly gone. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's fine, too, I guess. Go, golems. <laughs> oh, rip golem, I guess. Yeah, maybe that's worse, because now the enemies don't get countered as much. On the left, anyway. Okay, at least the, the x is still going to get countered. Or maybe the reinforcements will stop for a turn. You never know. Kaga could have mercy on us at some point. Let's get it, Gollum. Alright, Raffin, kill this one guy. Oh, this would have been a good opportunity to equip the steel. Oh, never mind. I was like, I could equip the steel blade this turn, because then they're going to not get countered by the golems anyway, but... It worked out in the end. Never punished. Uh, what? Oh. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, God. They can do that, too. He's just going to... He sold weapon. <laughs> Oh no. Oh god. I can't believe they did that thing. They did the Tom thing. Yep. Oh god. This map is disgusting. <laughs> who did who made this? Get out of here. Okay. Let's we gotta I'll just say I would I I'm I'm half surprised you haven't gone you know what? This I'm doing this next week. It's yeah, I know, already. Right? Remember that, I mean, here's the thing. If you do get tired, kind of tired of this, you can save staff and come back to this later. That's Honestly, true. even if it is kind of a scuffed clear. We could, you, could, you can, we could do the forbidden thing and call it mid, call it in the middle of the map <laughs> if you get bored, but yeah. That's fine, yeah, it's probably a good idea, especially because I could do more later. Ugh. Yeah, we've been going for a bit. Okay. You have to get going soon, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. You said you had to go as well. Yeah, I'll just uh, save staff and come back later. Uh, I'll just do it here, yeah. That is fine. All right. Stopped, stopped. Be back later, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> Alright, originally this was all going to be in one episode, including the conclusion to this map, but damn, it's still very long. So I'll leave the rest of that till next week. See you guys.